this is something you guys should be very, very careful when it comes to this. When they use this word terrorist, always remember that the CIA, by funding and training and arming the Mujahideen, created Al-Qaeda, and then they worked with Al-Qaeda in Iraq, in Syria. They, they uh, are actively supporting Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, which is Al-Qaeda in Syria, right? Became Jabhat al-Nusra, and then they changed to HTS. And, and, you know, they give this, this Jolani, who is a terrorist piece of crap, um, you know, they put him in a suit and then try to whitewash him and look at, make him look like some kind of leader um, uh, in, in Syria when he's really, he's the head of Al-Qaeda um, over there. And all these groups actually in Syria, uh, many of them were, had, had ties and, and um, you know, not just to foreign governments, but particularly to Al-Qaeda. Some of their fighters had come from Al-Qaeda or they had, you know, Swiss, uh, gone to one group and then that group merged with Al-Qaeda and then they stayed there. And then, of course, the Americans, they know that ISIS is in the desert. They put them in the desert. They allow them to operate in the desert. They, you know, they, they, they tell you that they are doing all these coalition airstrikes. This is a load of horseshit. Number one, I will remind you that if the Americans had not invaded Iraq, there would be no such thing as ISIS, okay? This is a direct consequence of U.S., uh, British, uh, uh, you know, war crimes and the invasion of Iraq. That's it. Um, then th th this spread to Syria. And of course, in Libya, also, you would not have, you know, Boko Haram and ISIS and Al-Qaeda running around um, and, you know, in such dire need of French and American military tr presence and troops to, to you know, um, uh, get rid of them if the French and the Americans had not killed Gaddafi and allowed terrorists to run wild, not to mention, you know, uh, uh, plunging that country into abject poverty and so on. So they create problems that they then... Um, try to you know pretend that they're solving and of course all the while presenting themselves as the sole um, cures to said problems and this goes without saying when you when you are dealing with people like Israel who worked with Al Qaeda that's the chief of the Mossad who is saying this not me the Israeli intelligence service this guy goes on Al Jazeera and literally says we worked with Al Qaeda because we had the same goal of taking down the Syrian government what the fuck what do you mean you worked with Al Qaeda what? I thought you're America's greatest ally and Al-Qaeda attacked the, the World Trade Center. How does that work? And the Americans say nothing? How weird. How weird of both of you. So the Israelis work with Al-Qaeda because apparently when you have the same goal, even Al-Qaeda, you know, is, is, there's nothing too low for the Israelis or the Americans in this, in this regard. At least the spooks, right? The spooks. And then the Americans... You know, uh, the, the Europeans, all, all, all this, this, this terrorism and terrorist, uh, foreign terrorist organization lists that they have, they are only dependent on one thing. Sudan, for example, was l removed from the list of state sponsors of terrorism just because it normalized ties with Israel. So apparently the only, uh, you know, the, the only factor um, that qualifies a country to be placed on the United States terrorist uh, list is whether it has ties with Israel or not. And if the answer is no, then you put it on the list of terrorist countries. Jeez, that says a lot. My point here is that these countries not only have created terrorists, worked with terrorists, but that their definition of terrorism is bullshit. So when the Israelis tell you Israel has a right to defend itself, and Hamas, I hope I said that loud enough for you to understand it was an Israeli, Hamas, are terrorists, you should not believe them. The real terrorists are the Israelis who have just put 2.1 million people, um, you know, who are already in a ghetto, right, in, in Gaza, with, without, they've, they've, they've put them in the dark without electricity, without food, without fuel, knowing full well that half of them are under 18, they're children. That's terrorism. That, that's terrorism, okay? Hamas, you, you know, let me put it this way. The Israelis make, the, make Hamas look like choir boys. They truly do. They really, truly do. It's not even, it's not even close.